Hey guys, the Tamman here doing what I love, and welcome to another episode of the NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last time we did episode four, uh, where we did week four, and today I'll be doing week five. Um, now for week four, I did pretty good. I went ten and five in my predictions. It was a pretty, uh, pretty good week of football. A lot of high scoring games. We had the Broncos beat the Jets. Joe Burrow got his first win. Uh, the Chiefs won, the Bills won a really exciting game, a bit of a lower scoring game between the Colts and Bears, but still pretty fun, a really great game with Tampa Bay and the Chargers, and then that Browns-Cowboys game was insane, Ravens-Seattle won Minnesota God's first win, um, the Saints did win, so the upset did not happen, however, I was right about this Panthers pick against the Cardinals, um, the Eagles also got a really nice win over the Niners, and the Packers won as well, so... Overall, I'm happy with how I did, and we'll be starting off here in Week 5, which I think has a lot of good games. I think these are some of the best storylines and matchups we've seen this NFL season. Starting off on Thursday Night Football, where Tampa Bay um, Buccaneers travel to Chicago to face the Bears. You have Tom Brady on the Buccaneers and Nick Foles on the Bears. Tom Brady was on the Patriots, and Nick Foles was on the Eagles when these two played in the Super Bowl. With Eagles won Super Bowl 52. Um, so you have that storyline. These two quarterbacks, the first time they are playing since that Super Bowl game. I don't think that Nick Foles is going to win this one, though. I'm going with Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are just getting hot at the right time. Their offense is great. Brady looked comfortable against the Chargers, who have a good defense, and I think he'll do the same against the Bears. Um, I like their defense as well. I think that this will be a fun game. Um, if I had to put a score, I'll probably say like 27 Buccaneers, 17 or 20 Bears. I think Nick Foles will have some nice plays. I just think Tampa Bay will win. Uh, this one's really hard. Panthers, Falcons. Um, the Falcons, you know, their defense hasn't been that great, but their offense has put up some good plays. However, you know, the Falcons are always good against the Panthers, but you have to look at the scheme and matchup. I just think Teddy Bridgewater and this Panthers offense are figuring a lot of this stuff out at the right time. They look very comfortable. Mike Davis has been very good at the running back position for an injured Christian McCaffrey. The defense as well has been making some nice plays. So I'm going to be going with the Carolina Panthers here, but it wouldn't shock me if the Falcons won. I'm going with the Rams here. I think this could be a possible blowout. Kyle Allen starting for the Washington football team. Uh, you know, he had some nice games last year as a Panther. You know, it was cool to watch him, but... I just think that the Rams uh, kind of completed their NFC East tour in these first five weeks. The Rams would have played the whole NFC East. Um, they have beaten every single one of those teams, and I think they'll continue with Washington and win a pretty big game. I think the offense is going to get back on track. Speaking of the NFC East, Giants-Cowboys, the first of this division rivalry. I think this is going to go to Dallas. I know they... I've only won one game, but I think their offense is really good. Their defense is struggling, but I think they can do enough to shut down Daniel Jones. And you look at their defense, what's really good is their front. Their defensive line has, I think, been the best part of their defense. So I think that uh, guys like Alden Smith up there, I think that's where they can attack the Giants' offensive line. I think Dallas will win. Um, then we have Sunday night here, Vikings-Seahawks. I think this could get high scoring. I just think Russell Wilson, uh, he's on pace with 64 touchdowns this year. He's playing at an insane level. I like Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, all those people. But I think Seattle wins. Speaking of a quarterback who's playing really well, we have the Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I'm going with the Chiefs. Um, I know the game they won against New England was lower scoring, but uh, the Chiefs look like the best AFC team right now. I'm going to be uh, picking the defending Super Bowl champs until they prove me wrong. Now, I don't know about this Broncos-Patriots game. If it's getting played, I hope that everything's good with the Patriots. Um, so I'm going to act like it is getting played. If it's not, okay, then I'm going to go with New England. Um... I know Cam Newton's out with COVID. Hope he gets better. Hope all these players in the NFL do get better. Um, I just think that their defense played very well against KC. In Denver's offense, they have an inexperienced quarterback. If Brett Rubin starts, yes, he did have some nice throws against the Jets, but I think the lack of experience going up against one of the best defensive minds in NFL history, if not the best defensive mind of all time, Bill Belichick. Patriots win. Um, Bengals-Ravens here. Um... 
Lamar Jackson missed his second straight day of um, practice with a knee injury. I'll say this. If Lamar starts, the Ravens win. If not, I'll go Cincy for me. Um, I just think the Ravens are a really great team in AFC. And also, their defensive line has been a bit quiet this season. But it's still good. And the Bengals' offensive line uh, struggles. So I, I, I think the Ravens will win this game. Uh, Jaguars, Texans, I'm going with Houston. They filed Bill O'Brien, Romeo Cornell, I really like as a defensive coordinator guy. I just think that they're going to win this game. Watson's played pretty well this season. I have him in my top 10 QB, so I'm going with the Houston Texans to get this win. Um, Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans, I don't know if it's going to get played. If it is, I'll go Bills. Josh Allen is playing at a spectacular level. This is going to be a really good game, I think, with the Colts and Browns here. Um... For me, this is a really hard game to predict, but it comes down to Cleveland's strengths are running the ball. Will the Colts have a good linebacking core in front with DeForest Buckner, who they got in the offseason from the San Francisco 49ers? The Browns have really good edge players like Miles Garrett, but the Colts have a good offensive line. I'm going to go with the Colts. It wouldn't shock me if the Browns won, but I just think the Colts match up really well. All right, AFC versus NFC here. Um, if the Cardinals do not beat the Jets, I think the exclamation point with the Cardinals gets even bigger. Joe Flacco starting for the Jets, who, you know, I'm a Ravens fan. I like Fl Flacco, but he's not in his prime anymore. Um, I think the Cardinals going to get back on track after two losses and beat the Jets. Uh, we have the Battle of Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Bowl, if you will, here of the Eagles and Steelers, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. I'm going to be going with the hometown team in this one at the stadium, the Pittsburgh Steelers being Philadelphia. Um, I just think the Steelers match up really well scheme-wise. You look at the front, people like TJ Watt up there against an Eagles offensive line has been injured. The Eagles, you know, what's the deal with the wide receivers? Even if like, people like Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey come back. The Steelers have a really great secondary. This was a team that had a bye week, and some players were not happy about that due to kind of how that schedule worked out. So I think the Steelers are going to come in, and they're going to play. I think this is going to be, I wouldn't say a blow up, but I could see like 27-9 Steelers winning. Would it shock me if the Eagles won? In a way, yes, they usually have had good success against the Steelers, but I think the Steelers just match up really well in this Battle of Pennsylvania. I think Carson Wentz is going to make some nice throws, but I think he's going to be chased down a lot by these Steelers defenders. Um, Us of the week, I'm picking the Dolphins over the Niners. Um, if, you know, Jimmy Grapple comes back, okay, Niners probably win, but at this time, I think it's C.J. Beathard starting. The Dolphins almost beat the Seahawks. They almost beat the Bills. This is a team that I think is better than the record. Um, and I just think they're going to have a good upset win over the San Francisco 49ers. I really like this Miami coaching staff. I like the Niners as well. I just think Dolphins, Niners, I'm taking Miami. And then Monday night, um, Chargers Saints, Drew Brees against his former team. Justin Herbert is a starter, the rookie and the veteran. Herbert's first three starts, he has to play Tom Brady, the Panthers with Teddy Bridgewater, and the Saints and Drew Brees. A very tough stretch against the NFC South. I like the Chargers, but I'm going to go with the Saints. Um, the Chargers' defense seems to be struggling a bit more due to injuries. I hope their players get better. But the defense seems to be struggling, and I just think that this will be a very fun game, one that is um, really entertaining to watch. I just trust Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara in his offense a bit more due to the experience that Brees has over Herbert. But I think this will be a really fun game. Overall, these are my predictions. So the upsets I'm going with here are the Miami game. So... That's my upset going to fantasy football. I'm doing pretty good in this league. I'm 2-2. Two two. I lost, but I feel confident. Uh, I do want to make some moves here. Aaron Rodgers is on a bye week. So that means we'll see how Big Ben does against the Eagles defense, which I think you could have a good game. Dalvin Cook has been great. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I really like Cooper Cup, Tyler Lockett. Um, James Robinson I have starting. Maybe I go Scotty Miller, actually. You know what, everyone? I mean, the Houston run defense isn't great. I'm going to I'm gonna trust to put James Robinson there. Uh, man, this is tough. Okay, I'm going to keep it how it is. And if Miller outplays Robinson well, that is what it is. But overall, I feel confident in this league. I am worrying about this one, though. I am 1-3. Um, I have good players. I have just, my opponents have had 
people with big games is going to be... Oh, I need to get a quarterback. Okay. Need to figure that out. Um, in terms of running back, I picked up Mike Davis from the Panthers. Um, I'm actually going to have him starting here over Nick Chubb, who is out, unfortunately, for a couple of weeks. And uh, I have Robbie Anderson, Justin Jefferson, CeeDee Lamb. Those people have been doing well for me. So, overall, everyone, that is the predictions for this week. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time here for another episode of some NFL predictions. Also, I do want to mention that there are some teams on the bye week this week who have an actual scheduled bye week. I know COVID has made this a very interesting season with everything, but the teams that have an actual bye week are the Packers and the Lions. So that will do it, and I'll see you all next time.